So you're building custom search functionality with Wix and possibly you've been using Wix data query, but you want to allow your users to do things that you can't really do with Wix data, such as make spelling mistakes or search through all the fields of a collection really easily. Welcome back to the Wix Wiz. I'm Eitan, and today we're going to be introducing a new API from the JavaScript SDK, and that is the search API, which introduces new methods, especially for searching through your Wix data collections, giving you more control and the ability to build cooler things on your website for your visitors and users. If you're interested in all that and more, let's get started. For today's tutorial, we are starting off in a blank Wix Studio website, but don't worry, everything that I'm showing you here today should be possible inside of Wix Classic as well. The only thing I've done so far is I've added in a new CMS collection right over here. And this is a collection of fruits with different metadata about those fruits, all AI generated. And what we're going to be doing is we are going to be searching this collection using the new search API. Uh, this is the API that I am talking about. It is released in the JavaScript SDK as of I think a few weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken. And I've been reading through it. It's still a little vague because it's in developer preview. But to my understanding, this is a special API that is supposed to make searching a collection a little easier. What could be easier about searching a collection? Because we could already do a Wix data query. So we can run a query on a collection and search by different filters if a certain field is equal to something or not equal to something. So a few interesting things that I've noticed about this API. Uh, if we take a look here at the example on the side, so we'll see here that the syntax is a little different. So we have here dot search, and then we have a name of a collection. And then we have an expression, but it isn't specified what field we're running the search in. So this is a more a way to do a more broad search and really include all of an item's fields in the search without having to go and specify that you want to search through every single field. So this could be great if you have a collection uh, with, I don't know, 50 fields, and you want to run a search in that collection, but you don't want to now run a query that checks every single field and see to see if it's equal to a certain expression. So this would do that for you. Um, there are also another few cool aspects such as fuzzy search, which I would like to explore. And I don't recall where I saw it exactly, but I have a feeling that this might be linked to new semantic search capabilities that Wix is introducing to some of its applications. But we don't know until we try. So let's hop in and try and get our hands dirty and see uh, what happens over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type out the code by myself so that I can kind of feel it Feel it with my hands. So the first thing we need to do here is import items from at Wix data. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Just just the import the import statement I am going to copy because that's something I don't want to make a mistake with. So I'm going to go over here, and uh, if you haven't done so yet on your site, you're going to want to go ahead and turn on Dev mode. That's going to be over here on the bottom left. Uh, I'm just going to go click Start Coding. If you happen to be in Wix Classic, it's kind of going to be on the upper left. You'll see it'll say Dev mode. And we can just do all this on the home page. Uh, no need to get too fancy here. And we probably won't even need to uh, leave the editor. We can probably see most of this stuff here in preview mode. So I'm going to get rid of here of all this kind of boilerplate code that we get over here. And I'm going to just paste the import statement right up here up on top. And the first thing we'll need to do is install this package. So this is one of the differences between uh, the SDK and Velo. Uh, I don't think that this endpoint is currently available in Velo. Uh, as Wix said, they're really only releasing things now to the SDK. I'm going to go ahead and hit install, and that's going to install in the background. Uh, in the meantime, let's go ahead and start to write the code uh, to run a search. What I'm going to do just to make things a little easier for myself is I'm going to add in a button here uh, that's just going to act as our search button. Uh, that we can use to just fire off a function that will run search that we could let's say do it multiple times and stuff like that. So I'm just going to write here search. And I'm going to name this button uh, right over here. 
This is going to be our search button. And now we're ready to create our function over here. So this is going to be an asynchronous function. And we're going to call this function search. And it's not going to take any parameters at the moment. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, say, for example, const results equals to await. And here we're going to have items dot and we're going to have our search over here. OK, but let's see exactly what the syntax is. So items and then dot search and we need to have the name of the collection. So let's go over here and I'm going to put it in a new line just like they do in the documentation just so that it's extra clear. And here we're going to have the name of the collection, which is fruits. Uh, if you're not sure what the name of your collection is, uh, you can always go over here and look for databases. And then here you can see in parentheses, you have fruits. You can even go ahead and copy it right over there like that. So it's the collection ID. Don't get confused with the collection name. So that's what we have over here. And the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to search for the expression. So uh, here you kind of have to know what you're looking for <laughs> or what could possibly be uh, kind of in the uh, collection. Let me just see here and open it up for a second and see what expression uh, could be good for us. So we have Apple here. Yeah, I don't know if there's, we could try and search for fruit. I think that would probably return all of them. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I'm trying to think if we have any any keywords that might return more than one fruit. Snack, flavor. Okay, so the word flavor, let's say. Okay, that I see it appears here twice. So let's use that as our initial expression that we're looking for. So here we're going to have here dot expression, just like that. And initially we're going to search for flavor. And the last thing that we're going to do over here, if I'm not mistaken, is run. So let's go over here and yeah, we could we could also limit if we want, but that's nothing special here to the search um, to the search API. That's also part of Wix query. So we're just going to do the dot run and that should be that. So let's go over here and we'll do dot run. And I'm going to add a console log console dot log so that we can log our results. OK, and uh, last but not least, let's go ahead and add in the code so that we run this search function whenever we click the search button. So I'm just going to write here search button dot on click, not on blur, on click. And uh, we're going to run our search just like that. OK, it's looking good. Uh, so let's go ahead and I'm going to just head over here into preview mode. Uh, you could also publish your site to test it out, but I'm just going to do it into preview mode for now. And I'm going to go ahead and click this search button once it becomes available. There we go. And here you can see in the developer console, we got back the results. So there's a lot of interesting metadata over here. I'm very curious what this is. Um, but this is what really concerns us, the items over here. So we got two items back. Uh, we got back mango which has a uh, flavor in it over here in the famous quote, King of Fruits and Flavor. And we got back pineapple, uh, which has, uh, yeah, tropical treasure of flavor. Okay, so those are the two results that came back. So it's, uh, it's an exact match. I'm not sure if it's case sensitive or not. It probably says in the documentation, but this was an, a re relatively easy way for us to search all of the fields without. So I didn't specify that I'm looking in the quote field, let's say, or looking at the fruit name field or anything like that. I just had to put in the expression and it gave me all the items that include that expression anywhere. So this is already a much quicker way to search, even without any of the additional cool filters that we're going to take a look at right now. Back here in the documentation. Uh, so if you scroll down a little bit, you can see here that there's uh, a new subsection called Wix Data Search, which elaborates on the different filters that are supported by this new API. And a lot of them are familiar to us. Uh, so and let's say equals, etc. So you could you could use all of those as well. Um, so you can 
have an expression, but then also specify, for example, only search within the ones that match a field in addition to the generic search. Um, so it would it would give you for let's let's use this example that Wix has here. So this would be it would give you back only items where the category field matches electronics. And within those, any of the other fields include the word premium, then it would return them. So it's kind of like specific in one field and generic in all the rest. So it's it's kind of like a mix and match, but we're, we're generally familiar with those uh, different uh, filters. There are a few filters here that are new and unique. Uh, one of them here is and mode. Uh, so when in this mode, an item must include all the specified search terms. So for example, if the expression is red car, uh, in add mode, uh, this only retrieves items that include both red and car. Uh, and here, for example, this is pizza cheese. So only items that include both pizza and cheese. And again, this isn't a brand new concept because we do have this and option, which lets us combine different filters together, but this is really kind of like a shortcut. So if we had, you know, an expression with three or four words, instead of needing to split each one of those into an individual filter and then link them with and together, we have now one easy method, one easy filter, which will just allow us to combine those together. So it's really very search oriented. Um, a Wix data query could be used with search, but it's not only for search. Uh, and this is really some an API that's built with search in mind. So this um, is why it has these unique methods uh, and has a similar one also for or. So if we go over here and look here, so we have also or mode. Um, and let's go ahead and try this one out. So this would allow us to find expressions um, if they match it's to find items if they match any of the words in the expression. So for example, here, if we have red car, if it has either red or car, then it should come back. So let's see what that would look like here in our, uh, in our search. So here we could have, let's say, um, apple flavor. Instead of just apple, we'll look for apple flavor. And uh, I'll add in over here, dot or mode. And then, uh, whoops, sorry, don't add a semicolon there. <laughs> if we go back into preview mode, like just like that, and now we run the search, so it should come back with apples in addition to the uh, pineapple and mango, I think it was last time. <laughs> Let's see here. So if we take a look here at the items, now we have three items. So we have here apple because that matched the apple option. And uh, we have also mango and we have pineapple just like before. Okay. And if we were to use here and mode, then I don't think we would get anything back because no items have both apple and flavor. So that's an example of what the or mode would look like. And uh, if we go back here, there's one more one that I want to take a look at that looks interesting. And that is this fuzzy. Um, <laughs> So fuzzy method enables fuzzy search. This allows for approximate matches that closely resemble the search expression, even if they don't exactly match. So I don't think that this is the semantic search uh, just yet. I think this probably means like if there's a spelling mistake. So let's try and see if that, uh, if that works. So let's go over here. And uh, instead of apple flavor, I'll just uh, have apple with one P. So let's say I misspelled apple, and I'm going to switch this out to be fuzzy. Okay, and this hopefully will return the apple item, even though it doesn't technically have these this specific expression anywhere there, it has something similar, which is the actual word apple. Um, so let's go ahead and preview that. And I'm just going to go and hit that search. And let's see what we came back with. So here items. So we have one in the array and it came back with Apple. Okay, even though there's no express, there's no actual expression APLE. And this would not have been possible at all with Wix data query. So this I think is the most proprietary um, out of 
the different methods that I've seen here so far in the search uh, in the sense that it can really solve a problem where if somebody has a spelling mistake, they can still technically find something. It is a little half-baked in the sense that um, typically, typically for something like this fuzzy method, you would have a little more control over the level of fuzzy. So you'd be able to say, you know, it, it will match if there's one mistake or two mistakes or like how similar they need to be. Um, for example, let's try, uh, let's try and alter this. So it just has, let's say, APL. Okay, so not, so it's just, this is already two letters away from what it technically should be. And let's see if it still finds that uh, APL. So let's go over here and I'm going to hit that search items. So now it didn't come back with anything. Okay, so I guess it can, it has a certain level of fuzziness that we can't really control. Uh, and it seems to be a fuzziness of I'm going to like, I want to say one, but I'm not sure that's actually the professional term for how to measure fuzziness. Um, so, yeah, so, but at least if you're pretty close, if you're, if you're off by like one letter, then it should uh, still find. And that is uh, pretty interesting. That's, I think, pretty much what we have here in terms of the new search. All the other stuff uh, is, seems to be stuff that we've seen previously. This is the expression that we've been using. Um, yeah, so that seems to be everything that we have here inside of the Wix data search. I think it's a really cool concept. Uh, I can definitely save a lot of time when you're building uh, certain search uh, capabilities into your application. Uh, it is quite broad, though. So just for example, this expression search it searches all fields, that might not be something that you want. Uh, sometimes you want like a middle ground where it's searching some fields and not other fields. So I think that, again, it could be it's still in development. What I would ideally want to see in, <laughs> in, my, in my dreams uh, is that you have a lot more control. Uh, so for example, if you just search for an expression without specifying, then you can search in all the fields, but then if you want to specify, you can also like, let's say pass in an array with all the fields that you want it to search in or something like that, um, or exclude. Um, again, might be possible, but I don't see here anything that's a filter that I'm not familiar with that could possibly be used for that. Um, so if you know otherwise, let me know in the comment below. If you've found this API already and you've started using it uh, and playing around with it, uh, let me know your thoughts. Uh, but I think I'll wrap up here. That's all I really wanted to share with you today. I think it's a new cool addition to the uh, Wix data uh, APIs. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up uh, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this every week. And I will see you next time.